What's going on guys? Welcome to a new video where today in front of me we have the all new M1 Apple iMac purple. So Apple just recently announced the all new M1 iMac with seven colors. So this is the purple. There is also the yellow, orange, pink, green, blue, purple, silver. So what makes this exciting is that these new M1 iMacs are so light and they're also much faster than the previous generation. Apple really wanted to make these iMacs very flexible of where you put them, how you use them, make them very family friendly, and they just really look great no matter where you put it. For me, my main device has been the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro, the base model, and I do heavy video editing. And I actually switched back to using my 16 inch MacBook Pro with the Intel only because I needed a bigger screen and also my maxed out version has eight terabytes of storage whereas with the M1 MacBook Pro I only had I believe like 256 and I just needed a bigger screen so now at the M1 iMac I have a 24 inch 4.5 K retina display which has been very nice to edit Photoshop Lightroom and just overall email and just work from so I'm just gonna take you guys through kind of my first overall impressions kind of my workflow and the things that I'm excited about so for these devices with the M1 chip, we do have the 8-core CPU up to 8-core GPU. We also can have up to 16 gigs of memory. We do have the 1080p camera with image signal processor. You can get up to two terabytes of storage. We also now have the Magic Keyboard with the Touch ID. And this version is the one that does come with the trackpad. So we have the trackpad, we have the mouse, we have the keyboard with Touch ID, and there are different options that you can get. Now this is the one that has the four ports, but you can get one if you only want two ports. So you do have the option to do a two Thunder USB 4 or you can do the four ports where you're gonna have two USB 3 and two Thunderbolt USB 4. So what else is new with the new IMAX is yes we have the seven colors but we now have this new magnetic plug for the back which makes it a lot easier to plug in your device. It's also really cool because if you do choose the model the higher end model you also now have the Ethernet port in the brick so that only does come with the higher end option kind of minimalizing the ports in the back so you're just gonna have that one port and if you want to connect to Ethernet, you can plug that into the brick. What's really cool too is that all of the accessories match. We have the purple keyboard. We have the two-tone iMac here, as you can see. We have the lightning to USB-C cable, which is the purple braided cable that also matches the power plug. And it's just this really, really nice look. Now my main thing in my workflow is editing and I do use Final Cut which is really nice because Final Cut is a part of the Apple ecosystem which means it runs very well on M1. So let's plug in my external drive and we will do a little demo of my editing. So over here is my OWC external hard drive which I usually edit everything off of. I will take you to my latest video that I um, was actually editing on here. So now these are all 4k clips. This isn't a very um, in intense editing. This is just basically one timeline, um, a few extra things thrown in here, but editing on it was very, very smooth. The playback was incredible. And one of the things about using the new Sony a7S III and shooting in 124K, I had a lot of lag editing previously with the Intel, but with the new M1 chip, it handles it extremely well. To be able to be functioning on this network, Look how what good this does is it basically is just giving them like a boost of transferring data and communicating. The only issue I did have was sometimes I threw some files into it and it dropped frames, but then it was perfectly fine. So it was a very, very okay. minor, minor thing, as opposed to where sometimes I have to wait for it to render. I really didn't have any issues. This iMac actually has eight gigs of memory and 256 of storage, so also a baseline model. I did hear the fan come on while I was editing and uh, doing a bunch of things. I had Final Cut, Photoshop, Lightroom open, and I did hear the fan, but it was so silent that I really, I had to like, I was second guessing myself. I was like, was that the fan? But it really was pretty quiet. Okay, so let's test out how Lightroom runs. So this was when we had the McLaren for a hot minute. And oh man, the McLaren was so much fun to drive. So as I am going over the presets, it's instantly throwing them on, very responsive. So what makes the M1 special is having everything work on the same ecosystem. And what really drew my attention on the M1 MacBook Pro was the fact that I could use iOS as well as iPadOS apps on my computer. And that is the same with the iMac. So I have downloaded some of my apps on here. I've been playing the game Two Dots on my iPhone for years, years. 
I can log in and it will then pick up from where I play on my phone and work on here. So my iPhone app that I play on my iPhone works seamlessly with M1 in this nice ecosystem. Now, obviously the app developers have to say yes or no as to whether they want that to work, but I'm so glad that Two Dots works. Another cool thing that you can do is you can actually connect your Xbox or PlayStation controller if you want to game. I do not have one with me right now, but I will talk about, uh, if we're gonna talk about gaming, I wanna talk about Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail is a game that I played when I was little and it is now on Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade. I will continue my game, absolutely. So if you guys remember Oregon Trail from back in the day, or if maybe you are a little too young and just learning about it, it's fun. The screen looks so good. Like, look how good this looks. I think I may have started a new game. I wasn't paying attention. But you get the point. You can play games. One of the things I do wish it had was Face ID. Uh, that is something that I really love about the Windows devices with the Windows Hello. I do wish that Face ID was a thing on here. Obviously we have it on the phone. It's funny because this year on the phone I wanted Touch ID and now on the Mac I want Face ID. So if we could just figure out a way to kind of make those both options on both devices, that would be cool. A lot of people were really upset with the chin of the iMac, but I think it kind of gives it that classic look. I'm not sure how I feel about the white border. I haven't figured that out yet. I think I like it. This is the light mode. Here it is in dark mode. Okay, well shoot, dark mode also looks really good. Another cool thing that I was excited about with the keyboard is the emoji button. So right here, hit the emoji button. It then pulls up your emojis. I do a lot of texting my friends on my laptop or my iMac and I send a lot of emojis. So having that button to push it was actually pretty convenient. All right, so let's test out how the camera looks. I'm gonna FaceTime my sister and she's probably not gonna answer. Do you think she's gonna answer? Where are you? Uh, I'm on the couch. She's on the couch. Is that good? Um, Second breakfast probably won't be for a while. You have to, this looks really nice. Yeah, it does look nice. I'm surprised because- no, like, It looks really good on my side. I'm surprised because sometimes when you have like the studio lights, yeah, it doesn't handle it well because it is adjusting for lower light. But it, it looks, looks pretty good. Cool. I'm gonna need your help for a thumbnail in like five minutes. Oh, shoot. I know, rough. That's okay. Bye. The camera looks good. My biggest complaint in my MacBook was that the camera did not look good, but this looks good. Interesting. So overall, this was just kind of like a first impressions of the M1 iMac. I really do like it. Editing on it was very seamless. 24 inch display was great. And I really am enjoying all of the different colors. It is so lightweight. You can pack it up easily if you need to. You can carry it from room to room. I actually put it in bed because I didn't have a desk and I was uh, desperate. Anyway guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what color is your favorite. Will you be getting this? Will you be waiting? There's rumors that the new MacBook Air may also be matching these colors. So I'm just curious to see what is next for Apple. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the bell, like this video, do whatever you do, and I will see you again soon for a new video.